The Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma on Monday during the last budget session of the Legislative Assembly said he will never allow the business of child marriage to take place in the state of Assam till he is alive. Now viewers on the face of it, this is something that should be commended. Child marriage is not something that anyone should be encouraging. Especially after studies have been conducted that prove that the reproductive health of women suffers when they're hawked off to be married viewers under age. Most often against their wishes. Himanta Biswa Sarma's comments came as the Congress, however, and the All India United Democratic Front walked out of the assembly protesting. Protesting the cabinet decision. Yes, viewers, to repeal the Assam Muslim Marriages and Divorce Registration Act of 1935. This is what he said. Himanta Biswa Sarma, he said, hear me carefully, as long as I am alive, I will not let child marriage take place in Assam. I will not let this happen as long as Himanta Biswa Sarma is alive. I would like to challenge you politically. I will shut down this shop before 2026. We will not rest in peace until we completely close the shop that you people he was implying the Congress have opened to ruin the daughters of the Muslim community. Now, ever since the Assam government decided on repealing the act, the opposition has been up in arms, viewers. AIUDF MLA said it's an election target to tar target Muslims, if you please. It's Islamophobia. No right to repeal a constitutional right. Assam government does not have courage to bring UCC. Asaduddin Uwaisi says, failure of government as child marriage was banned in 2006. Who will take care of the women after government crackdown? Let's open this up. Let's bring in a resident of Assam, Kamru Chaudhary and Anand Ranganathan. Kamru Chaudhary, why is the Congress today not supporting a progressive legislation which guarantees women agency over their bodies, over their future? Absolutely right. If um, Himanta Bisha Sharma was absolutely right in his intentions, I would be the first person in this world to support him. But here it was not so easy that you are seeing it through. The basic point out here, between the age of 20 to 24, Assam has recorded 32% child marriages among the female population between 20 to 24. Now my question to you, Anand, are these 32% of the girls only Muslims? I doubt no, because a majority of them have been Hindus. The point here that I'm going to say is that child marriage is a problem all across the country. Now, Muslims have been guaranteed by this constitution and it is a custom and practice of the 1500 years old that a wow. nikah or a contract has to be undertaken at the time of marriage with two witnesses in tandem. That is the Muslim way of marriage. And that has been guaranteed by the constitution. By removing this nikah or the contract marriage or the use of qazis to register a marriage, you have totally nullified the, the system, the practice of the Muslims' marriages. This is not in constitutional, in the line of the constitution, which guarantees freedom of religion to each and every religion in the country. By doing so, what have you done is you are giving way to certain unregistered marriages that will be taking place all across the uh, cities and villages of Assam. Not only this, let me just cite you some examples two days ago under the Basundara scheme of Assam government. All people indigenous, it seems, that is Khilonjia in Assam, they are called, have been given land pattas, but only the Muslims have been denied for this. Earlier, Himanta Bisha Sharma Abolish the Madrasa Act. Abolish the 130-year-old Madrasa board out there. They brought in such legislations wherein only the Muslims have been singled out. So here the intention of the Himanta Bisa Sharma is totally in doubt. In, when, when 2006 law prohibits child marriages, if the Kazi who is supposed to be a government appointee uh, administers any child marriage under his purview, then it is liable to be a criminal offence. So why single out the Muslims and their and their customs and try to vilify okay. them in the name of child marriage? Okay. Should I get the other side in, Doctor Doctor Ranganathan? Respond, please. 
Uh, no, my dear friend Kamruji is absolutely wrong. There are ample High Court judgment. The recent one I can think of is the Gujarat High Court judgment that actually allowed a Muslim girl who just achieved puberty to be married. So, in clear violation of the prohibition of Child Marriage Act, and till till this draconian provision that is allowed in Islam is not allowed in India anymore. Such instances will keep on occurring. So Kamruji is absolutely wrong. But I want to ask on another issue. Rahul, for how long on the pretext of diversity, one will allow discrimination to flourish? Because that is exactly what has been happening. Because above everything, there is a pursuit of law or a code that begets what I call universal good. That is just, equal and based on science. Let me explain. Because only then, can societies progress? We have seen this time and again. The abortion limit has been decided by science and it has changed over the years, has it not? Was that not warranted? Infant vaccination, contraception, prohibited in many societies and looked down upon. Was that not warranted? Similarly, science tells us that marriage of a woman upon puberty, sanctioned in Islam, demanded by AIMPLB and ratified by Indian courts, till now allowed in Assam, causes irreversible physical and mental damage to the woman's body. Should we continue to cause damage it's in the name of diversity? Of any, any you want to continue to marry girl child because your community has been doing so, while every other community in India has to follow the provision of Child Marriage Act? Is this pro-woman? Just another example and this will ex expose the hypocrisy of Kamruji. Supreme Court recently <coughs> conferred Hindu daughters with equal rights to father's property going back to 1949, saying and I quote, Hindu texts recognize female rights, unquote. But in India, Rahul, because of the verse 411, a Muslim daughter is entitled to only half of what a son is. And Does I this not bother our activists <laughs> and those fighting for women's rights? Is this not discrimination? For how long will you make Muslim women suffer discrimination by shrouding them in this burqa of diversity? So I ask Kamruji, is he or is he not against the verse 411 that allows a Muslim daughter to inherit less than the son? Say yes or no, if you have the guts. You know, Rahul, a little knowledge is a very dangerous thing. Yes, and yes my no? learned friend, no, my learned friend is coming here 11? and blabbering what you he has learned from the Google. That's plain you and simple. Answer. Because for please, 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 please have the guts to listen also, Anand Bhai. Anand Bhai, 411, 511, 1211, listen to me. Listen to me. First, Open challenge for the last Court 411. Court for the last. I will change my name again. Again. For if the I'm last wrong, I'll change my name. You court 411, Kamruji. And if you are wrong, you change your name. It's an open challenge. I'm telling. I'm going to speak. Now. Let me speak now, Rahul. You okay. have to meet. You can't country. just speak. Okay, let him speak. Okay. For the last 1500 years, Anand, Rahul, this is not a revelation. It is there on the records. A female child born in a Muslim family had equal rights as in, in her parental home as well as in her married home out here. I that right has been guaranteed by even. the Quran Sharif out here and the Hadith Sharif out oh, here. Wow. There is no denying the fact that the woman in shocking. her parental home gets 50% of it's her brother's shocking. property. But she gets an equal share in her husband's property also. There in we the, go. In the, in the this thing. When did the Hindu you, woman yes. get? When did the Hindu woman get equal rights in this country? What about Can Anandji reply? 411. Because I am not here. I am not here differentiating between Allah Muslim customs and the Hindu customs. Regarding your this is children, not my this the thing. Share but Anandji will try to vilify. That of the female. will try to vilify. Allah, now he, he Muslims to, and his customs. Okay, to let me let me but just say one thing, means, viewers. Look what happened last year. Saudi Arabia of all the countries, which is a model republic, Islamic republic, for a lot of Muslims, decided that it was going to ban child marriages. And it has. It's only permitted in an exceptional circumstance to be decided by a court. That's it. Now, by that yardstick, viewers, the Saudi Arabian government should be the most Islamophobic. So I don't understand what is going on. If in India well, someone moves to do this, they are Islamophobic. Saudi Arabia does it, no problem. Rahul, can I can I get another Rahul, thirty seconds, I, please? No, I'm actually running out of time, seconds. but I think you Just did concede. Very important, very okay, important. Yes, thirty. You know, go, yes. go ahead, sir. You take thirty. We have run out of time. Actually, I need to take a break okay, today okay, because okay. the now, because now, the commercial now the, break today is quite long. 
So I have to take that commercial break, sir. Otherwise, all of us will be out of pocket. I won't even be able to match your fees. So let me just take a short break and I'll come right back to you guys. Uh, viewers, certain issues today being discussed. We must add context. And that's what we try to do. Put a lot of fact with context. I'm taking a short break.